Hello, welcome to this kind of end of semester part one. So basically, uh, I finished all the kind of like in-class presentations and assignments that I have assigned uh, for this semester. I finished those uh, yesterday. So I just was kind of going to share um, kind of like an end of semester part one with you guys. So basically what I've also been doing is kind of having a um, miniature break before I go into like writing the final papers for the semester and things like that. Um, so to do that, I was playing um, not like in one sit through, but over the last couple of days, um, a board game called Pendragon Fall of Roman Britain. And um, I, it has a one player mode. Um, so like the other players use these, these fancy types of flow charts. So you know what they do on their turn. Um, I won't go through the whole game, but basically the overall structure is it's based on the history of, uh, you know, Britain when it was transitioning from being part of the Roman Empire to not part of the Roman Empire. And you can play as either the Saxons, the British like citizens, the imperial government in Britain, or as um, the Scotty kind of, you know, the, the tribes who would become like the Scottish tribes and things. So I was playing as the Saxons. I just randomly chose um, a team and uh, I won in the third out of six. So there's six total um, kind of like rounds that uh, after the end of each round, you check and see if anyone's met their victory conditions. So I won after the third round of that. But then when I was looking at the instructions, they're like, if you want to play hard mode, you're, you can't win until the last round. So you have to play through all six rounds without one of the um, non-players, uh, right? The kind of automated other players without one of them winning. Um, so technically, I also won doing that mode as well because even though at the end of the last round, uh, which is the sixth, so at the end of the sixth round, I what didn't still have my victory condition met anymore, but um, I was still the closest out of anyone to getting their victory condition. So I, I essentially had the highest score at the end of the game. And so that's considered, um, it's considered if you get to the end and you're the closest, like it's a win. I only sort of like half counted as a win. So I wouldn't say I've truly beaten hard mode, like totally. Maybe we could distinguish like hard mode versus expert mode. So I've beaten hard mode, but not expert mode, um, which would be going through the whole six rounds and getting your victory condition at the very end. Um, but yeah, but I kept everyone else from getting their victory condition and I still won uh, normal mode straight up just by winning in the third round with my victory condition as a Saxons. Um, so yeah, so the point though that I was making is this was kind of a like fun thing I did um, to kind of not have a total, you know, end of semester like relaxation thing, but something that I could take, you know, like 15 minute breaks, I could just play this game for the last few days um, and then, you know, get back to work and then take another break and, you know, after another 30 minutes hour and do another 15 minutes or whatnot. So uh, yeah, so that was that was a fun thing I've been doing the last couple of days, and it's just um, I thought it was an interesting thing to share about one of the ways that I kind of uh, break up the semester mentally, right? So I kind of think of like my class work, right? So all the, I mean, technically the final papers are also for the classes, right? But the all the kind of in class things that I have to do weekly. Um, I'm pretty much done with. I have like one more kind of like minor homework, but that's not really, I don't really count that. So of of all the major kind of uh, great, yeah, the major graded things that I do in class, those are all done. So um, that's kind of like phase one of the end. And then like phase two of the end will be probably when I finish kind of teaching and grading. Uh, and then like phase three is when I'm like completely done with everything for the semester. So yes, yeah, so this was like the end of uh, phase one of the semester. Uh, just mostly just was excited that I won my board game. So I thought I would share it because, you know, why not? Um, but yeah, also it's like a good kind of strategy for breaking down the semester into phases. And then you can kind of have smaller rewards at different points. You don't have to wait for the, the full end. 
And I find that helps give me like more motivation to, um, instead of being like, Ugh, I've just finished my classes, but now I still have to write the papers. It's kind of like, okay, I did one milestone and I can move on to the next one, have a little uh, celebration of that and then keep going. So that's always a, a good strategy, just in any kind of project you're working on, when you hit benchmarks, don't just kind of like press on to the next one, but maybe take, uh, even if you're not really stopping the work, but doing something else in addition that you don't normally do. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll come with the end of semester, uh, other phases um, as they come up. Uh, that's all I have to say for, for right now. So I'll see you guys in another video, um, hopefully soon. Bye.